Hi, Jeff Maloshek here with Balin Country. Today we're going to be talking about how to size your PTO shaft for the tractor and implement you're using. All right, now that we hooked up the tractor to our heavy duty rotary cutter, we can see that we have a problem. That problem happens every once in a while. The PTO shaft is too long for this tractor. So we're going to have to modify the PTO shaft per the instructions in the owner's manual to allow it to be accepted onto this tractor. Uh, basically what we're going to have to do is shorten the PTO shaft and we're going to show you how to measure that and do that properly next. The first thing we needed to do, we know that our PTO shaft is too long, so we wanted to find the point where the rotary cutter itself is closest to the tractor. So when you're raising the cutter up, you're going to have a certain point in there where it's going to be closest to the tractor on length of PTO shaft. So you want to measure from the slip clutch to your shaft, and we were able to find out that shortest point is 47 inches. Down on the ground, you had about 48 inches of clearance. So this is our shortest point. This is where we want to measure our PTO shafts at. We're going to go ahead and measure our shaft and find out where we need to cut. First off, take the tractor side of the PTO shaft to press the button, line up your splines, and push it on there. Now you need to pull back until you hear it click when the pin engages the slot. Just like that. So now we know we're locked in there. Second step, you want to raise your PTO shaft side by side so we can get a measurement of where we're going to need to cut. From the back of the collar right here, at the back of this collar, you want to come back three inches. And now we have our PTO shaft marked for cutting back in the shop. Do the same thing on the back side, just to make sure. Three inches back from the collar. All right, now we have our two cut points, and we're gonna take this back to the shop, trim this up so it'll allow it to fit onto this specific tractor. All right, now that we got our PTO shafts marked, we're gonna go ahead and lock it safely into a bench vise. You can see our mark here. We're going to make our initial cut on the shield. All right, now that we have this piece of the shield cut off, this is going to be a gauge for us. You're going to want to take this shield, match it up with the end of the PTO shaft, and come back this distance and mark your steel inside shaft. This is where we're going to cut that. That's going to leave you inch and a half exposed, just like you had before, inch and a half exposed. Now that we got this cut, you can see there's some burrs on there. We want to go ahead and take those off with the file. After you get that file down, take a paper towel or a shop rag. Make sure you clean all those filings off. Once we get back out into the field, you're going to apply a thin coat of grease on here to keep everything lubricated. All right, now that one side is done. All right, now we're on to the other side of the PTO shaft. Again, you can see our mark. Go ahead and cut through the plastic PTO shaft. All right, now that we have our PTO shield cut, we're gonna go ahead and mark it again. Now we know where to cut the steel shaft. Got this piece cut, we're gonna do the same thing, deburr the end. And again, clean all the metal filings off with a paper towel or a shop rag. And once we're out in the field, we'll apply a thin coat of grease on this unit. 